Good morning, Krusty Crew. Happy Saturday, everybody. Oh. Yes, happy weekend, everyone. Last Saturday of July. It is. Summer's over. It is. It's time for fall. And speaking of that, I guess we'll just get right into the first thing that I was going to say. So I know that in the last video, I asked you guys when you wanted to start seeing fall from us. And we had a very, very, very large amount of people mm -hmm. say right now. I think there were two people that commented that didn't want fall to start right now. Sorry, those two people. <laughs> but for the most part, every single person that commented said start fall as soon as you can because people are starting to shop for fall, which is true. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing too. Yeah. Like, you want to be ahead of the trends. You want to be ahead of the season. So mm -hmm. we are going to be starting fall just a little bit earlier than we expected. It's not going to be this week still. No. We don't really want to do it week. in July per se or like the first week of August. August. And we're also just not ready for the trend report yet. We haven't written it. So I think this next week we're going to have probably two hauls because that will give us more time to prepare for the trend report mm -hmm. if we're not writing something else for this week. So tentatively, tentatively. And then after the trend report, we always do the R&D. So it is nice to be able to like, okay, so we're going to put it up this day and then we have a day to go to the mall yes. and film that. So tentatively, <laughs> that's like a fun word I'm just realizing. The trend report will be going up on the 9th. 9th of August. Tuesday. And then probably the R&D will be a week after that. So we will be kicking off into fall a little bit earlier than expected. It's not much earlier than we were planning, but it's good to know that you guys are like on the same page as us with mm -hmm. the timing of when you guys want the fall stuff. This week of What's Old Saturday, that's what we're all actually here for, <sighs> covers the 23rd through Sad. the 29th. I do have a few other platform sales that I would like to tell you guys about before we get into Poshmark. Do you have some? I have one. A lot of like fun little Depop sales that were definitely less than $30. My one big bigger sale from eBay was this really fun Daniel Nicole for Disney Snow White micro chain crossbody. It was this really cute little bag I found in the bins. It was this like Snow White, really nice, like, faux leather, like, patches. Kind of each piece in the design was, like, a different little piece of fabric. And then the back was just, like, a little phone pocket. It was super cute. Mm -hmm. Um, I listed this at $100 because I didn't realize her stuff's actually not sold anywhere anymore and pretty sought after. So, like, resale is very good on the Danielle Nicole Disney stuff, and it sold for 70 bucks. It definitely gave me lounge fly vibes. Yes. Yes. Okay, so y'all wanted a twist. Oh, so... Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Funny little thing I just realized as I was doing my weekly, like, math for What Sold mm -hmm. Saturday. I grossed, which means I probably also netted, more on eBay this week than Poshmark. I don't think that has ever happened in all of my reselling journey. I have never had a week where, where any other then... platform has beat out Poshmark, but <laughs> I'm an eBay seller There's now. There's first for everything, <laughs> isn't there? Poshmark, you gotta get your game up. I'm not sure if that's because Poshmark was not that great this week or because eBay for some reason popped off this week. I kind of think it's a mix mm -hmm. of both because I'm gonna share my three really good eBay sales with you guys right now, and I think they are kind of the reason and that eBay was so good. Mm -hmm. But I will say, I did have another really good eBay sale that was not paid for. So eBay would have been crazy good if that had been Ugh. paid for. Can you do that? Like, can you turn on, if you send an offer, it's automatic payment no. on eBay? I think that's just for buy it now. Or for something. buy it now. My Shoot. first really good eBay sale was this pair of Prada Logo Napa Quilted Leather Sneakers. And these sold for $275. I did have them listed for, I think, $500. And that is because they are at Nordstrom for $995 right now, so mm -hmm. 500 did not seem unfair. Half off. But then when I got the offer of 275 I did kind of think to myself, sneakers from, like, just the normal designer shoe brands, like Prada, maybe even Gucci sometimes, and, like, Burberry, mm -hmm. the sneakers can kind of sit. They don't really have a ton of recent value because I feel like they're a lot more common. And and they're always like white bottoms to them so they always get really dirty. And sneakers mm -hmm. are just a little bit tougher to sell, I've noticed. So that's why I took 275 Still definitely not a bad price mm -hmm. and much, much more than I paid for them. And those actually are going to eBay to be authenticated. So eBay does something where designer sneakers go to them before the buyer. So that's kind of cool. Fun. Then I sold for even more than Prada. I sold <laughs> Stubbs and Wooten shoes. Stubbs and Wooten is one of my favorite shoe brands 
ever. It's their so stuff cute. is so cute and so high quality. These are the Stubbs and Wooten Rare Mystical Cosmic Eye Embroidered Loafers. These sold for $300. The beautiful. Which is crazy, but at the same time, if you do not know, Stubbs and Wooten shoes are about $600 to $700 brand it's new. so expensive. It's crazy. I don't know where you buy them, because I don't think I've ever I think seen just a pair from Stubbs. at Nordstrom. Love that brand. Mm -hmm. I would love to own a pair someday, but it's extremely extremely hard to find larger men's sizes from them. They mm -hmm. do make men's and women's, and I know we've had them on some bolo before. I think we had them on like a shoe bolo. I'm sure it was back a in the day. long time ago, but mm -hmm. Subs and Wooten is absolutely a bolo. And then my last really, really good eBay sale. This is from the same brand as the item that didn't get paid for. But it was an Agua by Agua Bendita uh, Cedro Floral Flared Mini Dress. This was super adorable and extremely trendy because it had kind of like the boxy neckline the to it. Neck. And it had puff sleeves that flared at the bottom. It was so trendy and so adorable. The Agua Bendita mini dresses can be just a wee, just a wee bit harder to sell than the maxi dresses. Mm -hmm. But still, mm -hmm. they still sell. It just takes a little bit longer. This one sold for $450. And unsurprisingly, it is through the global shipping program. I don't get to see what country it's going to, but it is going out of the US. She's going over there. Yes. Over Which there, I over think... there, over there. I don't know what that It means. was a song from World War II. Ryan's history lesson of the day. Ta-da! I think the other Agua I sold that didn't get paid for was also going to go out of the country, and that's actually why she didn't pay. She told me that the duties were going to be $200. <laughs> Which Can you imagine? I will say that's a little crazy. That's expensive. And I assume eBay must not tell people that before. You just kind of go to pay and you're like, mm, oh, okay. My $400 neat. purchase turned into a $600 purchase. Nifty. Okay, so like we said, this week covers the 23rd through the 29th. So on Poshmark, my week started decent and then came to a slow. Mm -hmm. And it started with five sales on the 23rd. My week was pretty like consistent. I had a couple sales every day. Nothing like absolutely insane. I only had three. My first on the 23rd was one of Ryan and I's favorite Ugh, Madewell styles. They sell so fast. This was the Madewell striped red courier button shirt. The courier shirts just do really well. Mm -hmm. I don't really know why. I have not figured that out, but they I do think really it's just good. It's like a good style. This is a really cute colorway for it. Like I said, when we hauled it, it's almost like a lipstick. Like when you do like a swatch of lipstick, it that's really like the vibe it gave mm -hmm. me. It's all different shades of red. Mauve. Yes. Cranberry. It sold for 25 and I definitely probably could have got more, but this mm -hmm. was like a day after I listed it. So sure. And I get 20. Then I sold this Urban Outfitters out from under Jamie jumpsuit. Jamie. This also sold. I'm sorry. Jamie. Jamie. This also Sold in references. like a day for forty dollars, which Cute. blew me out of the water. It also had like six likes already, so I don't know if this is like a sought after piece from Urban or something. I, I don't think get it. I have a sneaking suspicion the jumpsuits this year jumpsuits. sold for thirty two. It was a very like fall ish color and stuff, mm -hmm. and I mean it was new with tag, so I'm sure that helped too. Then I sold. All of this, I think, is the same haul. Oh. This Anthropology Maeve Calapana Tiger Vase printed blouse. Adorable. So cute. So cute. This, so this was like my favorite piece from that haul. The print was just so cute. Sold for $40 and I get $29.32. Then I sold this pair of Sam Edelman Yarrow Velvet Ankle Strap Sandals. Yeah, yo. Yes, you. And they said, are you just here to sing today? You know what? I do kind of feel like a little songbird this morning. I don't know why. A little songbird. Sold for $25 <laughs> and I get 20 and last on the 23rd was this pair of vintage bleach wash black high-rise jean shorts and these are actually vintage Massimo. <laughs> For vintage, don't be scared of like Target brands no, or like be. cheaper brand like the brand with vintage like Y2K vintage does not matter. I sold a pair of vintage Target Massimo jeans on Depop for $40. Yeah. And that can Don't be, be true afraid. for like vintage jackets, vintage. Yes. Like, Would I flannels. list it as Massimo? No, I would no. list it as vintage. Yeah. Sold for $25 and I get $17.32. And that is. <laughs> Which I think Target. is probably more than they than retailed the original at. Retail. Originally a Target. Okay. So my first on the 23rd was this Anine Bang white cotton Eloise top. I love Anine Bang. I really don't ever find her stuff thrifting. I have a few pieces of her from my own personal collection. This one sold for $70 and I make $56. I think people definitely 
ultimately you're coming after her booties and her t-shirts. Coming after them. Um, my next on the 23rd was this Levi's Vintage Blue Distressed High Rise pair of jean shorts. Sold for $28. I make 1972. I am trying to kind of like move out some of my jean shorts so I have room for more jeans and then I can get new ones next year. My last on the 23rd was the Sundance Yellow Green Puff Shoulder little midi dress with this really cute little tear on the bottom. It was adorable. Sold for $30 and I make 24. I would also like to sell through my shorts. And so mm -hmm. I actually, I did just sold those vintage shorts. My first sale for the 24th is also shorts. So on the 24th, I had three. I had two. My first sale was this pair of American Eagle 90s boyfriend Bermuda jean shorts. These sold for $35 Are and I get 28. That, um, the cross but No, they don't, but uh, they're just really, really cute. I mm -hmm. actually bought these at a Play-Doh's and I paid like five bucks, which normally I would not really buy American Eagle to sell myself, mm -mm. but these were just so cute and I had faith in them and they sold. So mm -hmm. paid off. Then I sold this Johnny Was floral embroidered t-shirt. This was doing so well, but no one would offer. So somebody then I did offer. Johnny Was has definitely kind of kind of cooled down. You know, she's kind of cooled it's off. It's not a bit. fallen off, but it's no. cool down for mm -hmm. sure. This sold for $35 and I get 28 and I probably could have got more once again, but like I said, no one else was offering. So first come, first serve. Wasn't first that Vince fine too? Yes. Perfect. Then Maggie came into my closet. So hello, Maggie, and thank you. She got this oh. for her husband. I should have worn a Maggie Rogers t-shirt today. <laughs> it is this American Giant plaid shacket flannel shirt. This sold for $61 to Maggie and I get $48.80. So thank you very much, Maggie. That was a really, really nice flannel. It was like thick and super soft. American Giant stuff I've heard is amazing quality. Yeah. So her husband is ready for fall. Good. So okay. So my first on the 24th was this Anthropology Gray Stripe floral embroidered dress. I want to say this was feather and bone, if I'm not mistaken. Listed at 50, sold it for 40 minus a shipping discount. I make 29.32. And then my last on the 24th, I am honestly kind of shocked that this item sold on Poshmark because I uh, was very confident it would sell on Depop. Um, it was this handmade crochet blue white little checkered like crossbody saddlebag. Sold for $25, which was my full asking price. And I make 20. Then Thank on you. the 25th, I had one. I had three. And actually, my one, once again, went to Maggie. So thank you very Look much, Maggie. You, Ms. Maggie. If she Look hadn't bought for me, I would have had a zero day on the 25th. Maggie, so I appreciate, appreciate that, Maggie. <laughs> she got this De Seagal art to wear printed button shirt. And this was for herself. So now mm -hmm. her and her husband both have a new <gasps> shirt. Oh, my God. And she got it for $30 and I get 24 So thank you very much, Maggie. This is that one that had those really interesting, like, buttons. Remember, they were all, like, different shapes oh, yeah. and different colors. Mm -hmm. That was, yeah, uh, I like that. Oh, De Seagal. Oh, De Okay, so my first on the 25th was a lovely little bundle of this Iviva navy blue black hooded snap front sweater, a really cute pair of Levi's wedgie icon high rise jeans, and this vintage 1980s t-shirt. I'm shocked the vintage heads didn't buy this because this was very a shiny moment for me in the bins. On the front it said, I'm not mad. Oh yeah. And then on the back it said, I'm just pissed. It was so funny. <laughs> and I was very, like, very me. I was very like, funny. if my mother didn't work in an office, I would give this shirt to her <laughs> and she would wear it 24 seven. Bundle sold for $95. I make 76. Then I sold this Patagonia Cinchilla gray full zip men's vest. This was super nice because one of the vintage heads gave this to me. Mm. I was next in line at the bin because it's still one person per bin and he just threw it back at me. I was like... <laughs> Was this on purpose Thanks. or an accident? Yeah, no. He threw me a t-shirt that I ended up keeping because I love it, and this vest, and a long sleeve. And I have sold the two chills, which is nice. Hmm. Uh, this sold full price for $45. This had a ton of attention on eBay. I was getting messages about it all the time. I was getting horrible offers. <sighs> so I figured it would probably sell over there just because, I don't know. I make 36 And then my last on the 25th was, I think, one of the oldest things I've had in my closet to date. I got this in the bins pre-Janine 19. I yes, would like Jen. to say, I would like to say, <laughs> so our Ben's friend Sue brought it to my attention Sue's adorable. because she wasn't sure of what we mean when we say <laughs> Janine. Oh, <laughs> we, this is adorable. back in 2020, this in thing Kent, happened and the world shut a down. A big thing happened that made a lot of people not healthy. And YouTube, that ended in 19. YouTube has a rule that you, well, they had, honestly, I don't know where that is nowadays. I don't want to test but it. But they had a rule where you can't say what that illness is called. And so we had to come up with a code word because how can you not talk about it? And so our code word was Janine because it rhymes with 19. Janine 19. And so when we were talking about Ryan's like, 
like mean Aunt Janine. The, this woman that's is not real. what we were talking She's about. She's a disease. Yes. So I can't. <laughs> She's a respiratory illness. I don't think I can say the code word, but no, hopefully everyone's the picking up. Code word. Everyone hopefully is picking up on what I'm putting down. So Janine in the future <laughs> means. Is that big that scary thing that affected everybody in 2020. Panorama Panda Express that we all experienced for a couple years. Anyways. Yes. So Sue, <laughs> I do not have a horrible aunt, but that was adorable that you that had That was so funny. So She's much. like, what's wrong with Ryan's aunt? I'm like... <laughs> My aunt on my uh, mom's side is a very nice person. Yes, Ryan has nice aunts. I do. <laughs> it was this free people, you made my day, printed maxi. And there was like a hot minute way back in the day, like 2019, where I found one of these dresses probably every single time I went to the bins for like two weeks. This is the only one I had left. I priced it at 60. I think I sent out like a 30% offer because I was like, somebody please buy her. Um, Sold for $48 and I make $35.72. Your last That's item good. each day keeps being a perfect segue to my first item on the next day. Like so on the twenty six, on the twenty sixth, I had three. I didn't have any. Interesting. Do you want me to say none or zero? <laughs> Speaking of free people dresses that we used to find every single time we went anywhere, I missed that. I one. sold this free people gypsy trapeze printed boho mini dress. This sold for thirty dollars, and I get twenty four. This was new with tag from that really good bins haul, and this did so good, which is interesting because the trapeze dresses mm -hmm. usually do not do good for me. They usually to. I think it was the they print was really pretty and the fact that it was new with tag, mm -hmm. but and it was a large, so it was a really yeah. good free people size. Stars so line I think, one. yeah, everything lined up. Then <laughs> my best sale of the week for Poshmark was this pair of Dolce & Gabbana DG logo cut out leather slide sandals. And these sold for $350 and I get $280. I had these priced at I think $450 or $500. Once again, these are still in stores, mm -hmm. full price. This is like the new popular Dolce sandal. I thought $350 was fair when she offered mm -hmm. that. I was like, that's not too bad. Fergie would be proud. Then Brenda popped into my Brenda, closet. Brenda, hi! Is, which I love. That's Ryan's nickname for his sister. Yes. So hello, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hello, a real Brenda. Yes. She purchased this... <laughs> Literal Brenda. <laughs> this Zara wide lapel fall coat. This was so nice. Is that how you pronounce it? If that? there's ever Zara in my closet, expect it to be nice Zara because mm -hmm. I do not sell Zara. So it only ends up in my nice. closet if it's good. So this sold to Brenda for $46 and I get $36.80. And you are going to love that, Brenda. It is like so it's a thick. And it feels like wool, but it said polyester. But it, I swear, it I don't know, feels like what kind like of wool. materials ours be using, but... What are the materials? What, uh, girl, so, material. <laughs> so, on the 27th, I had three. Two. My first sale was this Eat Franz tie-dye pair oh, of sweatpants geez. joggers. I do have the sweatshirt, too, but I listed them separate. This sold for $25, and I get 20 and that is an Urban Outfitters brand that is now also at Nordstrom. If that would have been my size, we wouldn't have been talking <laughs> I about them the because sweatshirt. I would But what size is it? I don't know. Then I sold this Free People Telltale Lace Green Witch Core dress. This sold for $25 and I get 20 I was doing my inventory the other day and I found this in a bag and I was like, there's no way this is listed. And like, sure enough, it was Well, And last on the 27th was this pair of Sundance camo floral embroidered pants. And these sold for $35 and I get 28 And those were also doing very, very good. I love Sundance. Okay, first on the 27th, Ariat Vintage Black Leather Faux Turquoise Western Horse Girl Belt sold for $20. I make 16 And then my last on the 27th, was this pair of free people distressed gray I think they were called the cozy all day pan this was funky so I found two pairs of these at a consignment store XL and small the XLs sold instantly for $40 these, I got an offer of 35 So I don't know if there's something about this pant. People just like it. If some blogger talked about them because they sold very fast. It sold for 35 and I made 28 On the 28th, I had none. Ooh, no. 28th was slow. 28th was very slow. Did you slow. have sales on the 28th? Or what was day it, was, was the 28th? What was I doing? That would have been Thursday. Oh, I had a very good sale on the 28th. Okay, so I woke up to this and this was amazing. The new We're work, building up I, some hype here. I, I like, kind of also like lost my train of thought and didn't know where to look at my phone screen for 10 minutes. Please, <laughs> just please, please have forgiveness. I have not had a Diet Coke this morning at all. Um, New Works black one piece button front jumpsuit. Big Bolo, if you don't know, New Works, N O O Works. Jack will do the little the thing yes. somewhere. It's a women owned, like LA, California based company. And they make all these really cute little fun things. The printed stuff, I was seeing it did a lot better than like the plain black, because this was just a plain black jumpsuit. But this sold full price for $130. I make $104. And then on the 29th, the last day of What's Sold Saturday, I had four sales. Four. Four. 
Four. Four. My first sale was this Jeffrey Campbell pair of Czech patent lace boots. So that must have been Jeffrey's name for it. Sold for $60 and I get 48. Then I sold a bundle, my only bundle of the week. And it was this Anthropology Saturday Sunday plaid dress. Perfect for fall. Three people sage, which is weird. They were not sage in color. The name of the bra is sage. Hmm. Sage long line bralette. I, everywhere I found it, it said sage. I'm like, it's I, white. I'm like, am I not able to see this right? Or why, why is it called sage? And then this free people chunky wool knit scoop neck sweater. And they all together sold for $90 and I get 72. And then I sold this Filson vintage USA made fly fishing vest. This I had listed. This was tricky. For $250. Because all of the comps are between $200 and $300. So I was like, why not? I know nothing about this. So let me just listen to the comps for once. Someone offered me $75 and I wanted $75. So I, sure. so I accepted it. So this sold for $75. I guess I might've made a dumb decision. Maybe I could have got way more, but you know what? I get $60 now. Didn't have that before. That's okay. It was a bins fine. I'll take it. Last sale for the week was this Sundance embroidered floral tie dye shirt. This sold for $20 and I get $16. This did like worse than I expected it to do, but it was also just a t-shirt, so maybe yeah. that's why. First on the 29th, a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren navy white cotton pajama pants. Sold for 20 bucks, I make 16. Then to Miss Natalie, bought this really cute little bundle of this Free People No Plans Salmon Linen Blend Romper. This really cute Lululemon Soul Cycle blue long sleeve and the really pretty pink like lace trim satin bralette from the haul on Tuesday. I do believe. So thank you, Natalie. Bundle was a hundred bucks for all three of them and I make 80. Then my second to last on the 29th was this pair of Lululemon. The Speed Up Side Pocket Tights. These were from one of my consignment clients. Sold for $45, I make 36. And then my actual last was another Lululemon from the same consignment client. The Gray Striped Blissed Out Tennis Dress. Sold for $36 minus a shipping discount. I will make 26 12. So my gross for this week, and this is just from Poshmark. This does not count eBay, mm -hmm. even though obviously eBay did better, was 1,072. Mine was 767. And my net was 857 and 60 cents. Mine was 613.60. Wow, we both got 60 cents this week. Yay. That is all that we have for you guys today for this What Sold Saturday. Ugh. Let us know how your sales week was. I need a Diet Coke. How was your Poshmark and how was your eBay? Have you been seeing more traffic on one of them than the other? Or how's that looking for you? What's the tea? <laughs> also, I would like to thank everybody who has been watching the second channel video. The Halloween thing. I have been having Fun. a blast making the second channel videos. And the second channel just got monetized. Yay! And, 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 the second channel just passed 2,000 subscribers. That's so nice. Thank so you guys. So thank you guys. Any of you that have went over to the second channel and even just checked it out, thank you guys so, so much. It's so much fun. The second channel is, I always tell Ryan, it's my passion project. It's it literally, very much is his passion it's project. It's just <laughs> me having a fun time and I still put a lot of time and energy into the videos, but I have a blast doing it. So anyone that has not that we don't it, enjoy putting up these videos. No, no, we love them. No, but Let it's me like set the record straight. <laughs> the second channel is like a hobby for me. Like it's, it's, it's a completely hobby channel. out mm -hmm. of like fun. So anyone who's checked those out, thank you so much. Ryan is in them. It's not just yes. me. I and make I'm a Debbie's appearance. in them as well. Who also makes an occasional appearance. <laughs> and they've been kind of vlog style so far, but we will as we get farther into fall, we'll have other things on there like taste tests mm -hmm. and recommendations and like daily vlogs. Vlogs, like not daily, but just like day vlogs when we go do like fun events or yeah. something. It'll be super fun. Which also there will be fall coming now to this channel as well. After this oh. next week, we are kicking off fall. And on this channel, what that looks like is we will be doing the trend report and then we will be doing the R&D and then we fully swing into like fall content, mm -hmm. which for this channel that looks like oh. bolos of boots, of sweaters, of coats jeans. Uh, we do hauls, which is fall hauls. We do Halloweens, which is mm -hmm. like once we get into October, we do more like fall hauls. So much fun. We do come shop for fall trends with us at thrift stores. We like do fall sourcing. Mm -hmm. All kinds of fun stuff. So much fun. So lots of good stuff ahead. And yeah, there's that. There's my TED talk. We will see you guys on Tuesday for most likely a haul. Because we go to the bins Monday. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Bye. Bye. -bye.